how to connect corrugated pipe to corrugated pipe. There's two go-to couplers. I'm gonna explain how to use them and when to use them. Whenever you're using perforated pipe, you never want to flow debris through it. You want to use a solid pipe for that. If you're using a perforated pipe for a French drain type application, you'll be able to use the internal coupler. This snaps on the inside. It has barbs and when it clicks in, you can't get it out. This is a forever connection. Simply line it up with the inside of the pipe and that's it. It's not coming apart. And then you go ahead and you connect your other corrugated pipe to the other side of the coupler here. And again, it's not coming out. It's never gonna come out. You have to cut it out. So this is a forever connection right here. Internal coupler, four inch internal coupler, and it's for perforated pipe, not the solid pipe. Now, if you know you're gonna be running debris through your system, you want a solid pipe. So if you're doing downspouts, you run solid pipe. You want an external coupler because see, the internal coupler will actually stop leaves. So the, if you were trying to use this perforated pipe to flush leaves, you'd end up with leaves building up and getting caught on this coupler because it's an internal coupler. That's why we want to use an external coupler for our downspouts. Any downspout or yard drain that you have on a basin, a catch basin, a solid pipe on a catch basin, you want to use the external because you're going to get leaves and tree seeds and debris. And these, they work a little different. Instead of going inside, they go outside of the pipe. Now, I recommend when you're using the external coupler to always use a really super, super sticky, super, super stretchy outdoor tape that's waterproof, winterproof, freeze-proof, all weather, all season, a really good tape. And then we go around right here where the coupler meets with the pipe, and we tape this up really good. All right, everybody, until that next video.